First, the President, now Sri Lankans, stormed the Prime Minister's office, demanding that he quits as well. Packed and ready for shipment, Indonesia starts deliveries of frozen chicken to Singapore. And what's new and what's changing when NDP goes to the heartland once again? Good evening, you're watching The Big Story with me, Harianto Diman. Subscribe to the Straits Times channel so you will not miss an episode. New developments out of Sri Lanka. The police fired repeated rounds. The police fired repeated rounds of tear gas as hundreds of protesters attempted to storm the Prime Minister's office, demanding his resignation. Sri Lankan's parliamentary speaker announced today that Prime Minister Ranil Wickram Singer has been appointed as acting president as incumbent Gotabaya Rajapaksa is overseas. Now, this comes as Sri Lanka earlier declared a nationwide state of emergency hours after Mr Rajapaksa fled the country to Maldives ahead of his expected resignation. Police have said that they are imposing an indefinite curfew across the western province, which includes the capital Colombo, to contain growing protests. As much as 50,000 kilograms of frozen chicken worth over $187,000 is on its way from Indonesia to Singapore. Indonesian Agriculture Minister Sharul Yasin Limpo earlier inspecting the large shipment of chicken that is set to depart from Tanjong Priok Port in North Jakarta this evening and is expected to arrive in Singapore on Friday. This is the first time Indonesia is selling chicken to Singapore. Now, one of the companies supplying the chickens expects to deliver a total of 1,000 tonnes or 1 million kilograms of frozen chicken to Singapore over the course of this year. The chicken is currently transported frozen by sea as that is the most cost-efficient mode of transport. Meanwhile, the company is also trying to find packaging technology to prolong the shelf life of chilled chicken. After six years and $47.3 million, SMRT's escalator ref refurbishment project for the North, North, South and East-West lines is finally completed. In all, 231 escalators at 42 of Singapore's oldest MRT stations were upgraded. Now, One change you might notice is that during off-peak hours, the escalators will move at a slower speed to make their use safer for the elderly and young children. Pursuing a career in preschool education, while well, the Early Childhood Development Agency has invested more than $13 million in the past six years to train over 2,200 early childhood educators. According to Sun Shelling, Minister of State for Social and Family Development, developing early childhood professionals is top priority for the government. In a step closer to using pig parts to address the shortage of human organs for transplant, surgeons at New York University have successfully transplanted genetically engineered pig hearts into two brain-dead people. Researchers say the hearts functioned normally with no signs of rejection during the three-day experiments in June and July. The experiments followed the death of a 57-year-old man with terminal heart disease in March, who made history as the first person to receive a genetically modified pig heart. Now, who's ready for a good time this National Day? Well, this year's NDP Heartland celebrations promise to have something for everyone. Now, here's a look at what you can expect by the numbers. I am Colonel Kwek Kye Leong and I am the chairman for this year's National Day Parade 2022 Heartland Celebrations Committee. 
If you are wondering what I do, I am the guy who will make your experience at the NDP Heartland Celebrations an exciting and meaningful one. You can look forward to 12 Heartland Celebration sites, of which there are 5 carnival sites, 2 Red Lion jump sites, 5 fireworks sites. Within the 5 carnival sites, there are also static display of vehicles from the SAF and the home team. There will be 24 different types of vehicles, 44 vehicles across all five sites, and most importantly, we are commemorating 55 years of national service. Hi, my name is Julian. My job here is really to bring everybody together to make sure that all the activities at the five heartland sites run smoothly and everybody have a great time there. And at each of these heartland celebration sites, you can expect to see over 40 booths, food stalls and different game stations where residents can have fun and enjoy themselves there. This is all put together by more than 1,600 volunteers and grassroots leaders who have been working very hard over the past few months to curate the programs and putting everything together. Hi, I'm Larry Chua, co-chairman of the Working Committee for the National Day Parade celebration as Heartland at Southeast. I'm also the man responsible for all the fun activities, game booths, which we will find on the 7th of August at Wisma Gelang Sarai. You'll be able to see 600 hand-painted bears, four giant bears on displays, as well as two locally and specially crafted drinks at Southeast. So there are five things that you should look out for at the carnival sites. First, do take a lot of selfies with our giant bears at the carnival sites. Two, expect to experience some augmented reality at the game store. Three, you can go on an amazing race with your family. Four, you can play lightsaber within the park. And last but not least, have loads of fun with your families under the stars. My one wish for Singapore is for Singaporeans to come down as a family, as a community, as one nation to the Heartland celebrations. And the taste of the two drinks, I can guarantee you, is definitely very, very good. Those are our top stories today. Now, don't forget to subscribe to us by hitting the red button below. I'm Harian Tudiman. See you tomorrow for more stories on The Big Story.